Hey, and welcome back to Soaring Profits. Uh, a few profiteers have been asking, you know, how do you start running? Like, it just seems to them phenomenal that you go from zero to, you know, 10K, uh, which I get, you know? I'm running with people that are doing like 25 a day, and I'm like, I have no idea how you do that. Like, after 10, I need to have a nap. Anyway, uh, so if you uh, go to 2.0 Adventures, that's Sarah, that's that girl that does the pictures for my poetry. Uh, she has an app, like, I don't know what app she's using, so you could ask her, you could just message her and say, hey, what app are you using for running? She'd love that, she'll tell you what it is. But the way I did it, you know, I got, uh, I had a friend who was an iron woman, I guess, I don't know, you call her iron man, iron woman, uh, and she uh, basically told me how to run. So, this is what I did. I ran for a minute, and I walked for two. That's it. That's a whole thing. So you, uh, I, you download an app, a uh, running app, running timer app. And uh, so the runner timer app has three places. It has uh, how far you wanna go. So I put one kilometer in because I was just starting and I didn't even think I would do one. And then uh, how far you wanna run, one, one minute. And then how long you wanna walk, two minutes. And then it just runs you through a cycle until you hit that one kilometer. You run for one minute, then it tells you to stop, you walk. And it's surprising how freaking easy that is because you, you recover so quickly. And then what I did is I, once I felt like, you know, you get to a point where it's like, gosh, I wish I'd do more. This isn't enough. So then I just raised it to one and a half kilometers. Same timing, because that's what my body's used to. Simple, stupid. I do everything simple, stupid, because then I'll do it. Because I'm simple and stupid. You know, when I did keto, I tell you, I did repetition, repetition, repetition. Eggs, sausage, bacon. That's basically all I ate. For years. For years and years and years. I still mostly eat that. So you do the one kilometer run, two kilometer walk for two kilometers. Once you get to two kilometers, you know, you stop, you high five yourself. My little app gave me a little trophy. It was kind of cool. And then I did it all the way to five five kilometers I just kept going and going and going and then I got to five kilometers and I was like okay five kilometers is my is my goal so now I got to change the timing so then I still did a two-minute walk because I felt you know the the two-minute walk was a nice rest so then I did uh, a minute and a half of running two-minute walk 5k so nothing's really changed right your body's already used to it it's just a slow it's like that boiling I talk about the boiling frog and the frog in boiling water because the heat is going up slowly you don't really notice the difference and that's what you're doing with this running the running idea and then you just keep on going and it, same thing when you get to a minute 30 and you're like wow you know like I, I don't want to stop I want to keep going this is this is amazing and you raise it up to two minutes till eventually you're running 5k right you just run 5k that's just the way it works and then you don't need that timer anymore then you switch then from now on, you know, I have a, I have an actual running app. I use uh, my Galaxy Watch. Uh, you can use Strava. All of them are great. And basically, it just tells you how far you've run and how fast you run each, each kilometer. So today was a slow run for me. So I was doing roughly 6 minutes to 6.20 a kilometer. It told me that, so I knew, you know, I was in that, I was in that, that line I want to be in, you know. You can look at your watch and go, oh, it looks like I'm gonna be doing a seven. I better speed up my paces. Or it looks like I'm doing a 5.30, I better slow down. After that, that's what you do. You're kind of dialing in that stuff. And and uh, my most important warning and uh, is if you're running and you feel pain, you know, like your hip, your knee, your ankle, stop. Stop running, it's not worth it. What's the point? Assess it, make sure it's okay. If you keep running, you're going to do damage. I did. You know, I kept running after I hurt myself and I did damage to my leg and my recovery was 10 times worse. You know, if you take a break, a couple days, I don't know, go see your doctor. Like, I'm not a doctor. I don't know how long you're supposed to take the break. I have no idea. I'm just, you know, I'm just doing, telling you what I do. So don't take this as medical advice. I have no idea. But I do know if you're running and you're, you feel a pain, you know, you don't know that you haven't felt before, that uh, alarms you, that's sharp, anything. It doesn't matter, it's not worth it to keep running. You hurt yourself, and then you're not gonna be running for a long time. I was out for four weeks because I didn't listen to my body. Anyway, I hope this has helped in some way. 
I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a running expert. This is uh, one of those things that we're learning together. I, I hope to give you more advice in the future. Maybe once I, you know, do that 10K race, I can give you some advice. I'm not sure. But uh, I'm James from Story Profits, and uh, let's heal our mind, bodies, and souls together. I hope you're having a great day. I for sure am. Take care.